My name is Andrew Plunk. I'm a postdoctoral researcher at Washington University in St. Louis at the Medical School in the Department of Psychiatry. My name is William Tate. I'm on the faculty of the Department of Education at Washington University. I'm also Dean of the Graduate School and Vice Provost for Graduate Education. I think our findings matter because there still are calls to make high school education more demanding. We're finding out that many students across demographic groups are not graduating as a result of the, these more rigorous requirements. We tend to look at the relationship between course taking patterns and academic achievement on tests and there's been a very positive relationship between taking more and more rigorous courses and performing better on tests. We've ignored the outcome of do students actually attain the degree that we hope they attain. So we've, we really have not been paying attention to the right question and, and, and it's created, in my opinion, an empty seat problem. We've aggressively pursued more rigorous and cognitively demanding standards because of research that uses outcome measures like achievement, but we haven't paid attention to the trend line on whether students are actually completing their high school diplomas and matriculating further into college and the like. Major takeaway, I think, is that whenever we start thinking about um, how these broad policy mandates can affect kids, but it's have to be mindful of the unintended consequences. What we found in our research is that many students were ill-prepared and thus ultimately failed to graduate. That's one big takeaway that most states who had this mandate did, could not have anticipated. Secondly, there were some subgroups, particularly Hispanics and African-American women, if they could complete high school under these more uh, rigorous requirements, we're more likely to uh, earn college degrees. That's a big finding and I think very important. This uh, study is really important for states and school districts to think about whether or not they want to continue to raise requirements in science and mathematics without ma making major interventions in earlier grades. I think it's extremely important that we think about mandates at the high school level will require K-8 to change in some important ways if we expect students to actually be able to graduate and, and to lower this dropout effect.